Hello and welcome to another update video about Aave. Yeah, Aave um, pushed higher. Yeah, did not quite reach the $69, $70 level. It would be ideal actually in this third wave. But I start to assume that this, um, so either the third wave is already over or we only had an ABC structure to the upside. Either way, yeah, regardless, um, the bullish support is unchanged since the last update that I gave to channel members on Discord and Telegram, I think yesterday or even today. Where I said, look, as long as the 50% retracement level is holding, this could be a wave four. Yeah. And it can give us a fifth wave. I have to assume below the 50% FIP level that this has topped and that we are breaking down and go to new lows into the $30 region. Okay. So it's very simple. It's that $58.20 level. I mean, this setup worked out. Anybody who entered here with any long trades, I, I would always try to take some partial profits or move up the stop loss. The risk should be gone in this trade. Okay, so it's just about letting it, you know, let, wait and see. Um, but yeah, I mean, ideally, I'd like it to see, you know, to, to get to $69, dollars $70, $69 in the third wave. It might not get there. If it doesn't get there, there is a way where I could say, okay, maybe the wave one actually finished here and we had an A overshooting B wave, C wave down. And I need to, to measure the FIPS differently, um, but it doesn't impact the bullish support level, okay? So it wouldn't change the structure. It would avoid an overlap between wave four and one. So, uh, you know, I might go with that, but that doesn't, that doesn't impact the analysis at all at the moment. It would have had an impact on the support area down here, but it hasn't got an impact at all on the relevant bullish support that we are tracking now, which is the 50% retracement level of this move between the 11th of September low and the, um, well, today's high basically, right? Or yesterday's high that was at around $66. So as long as the $58.20 level is holding, it can give us a fifth wave. And if we get five waves, then we can, again, look for the next long trade setup, the next pullback trade setup. But if it doesn't even get there and if it breaks below $58.24, then I have to assume it's following the yellow wave count here into the low $30 range. Um, if, if that happens, I will calculate the target for that fifth wave to the downside, which would be the bearish scenario. And it would make another low. It would make another low below the um, 18th or 17th of August low, which was at $50. So I would then a break below $58.20, so to speak, would lead to a break below $50 with a high likelihood and then a follow through into the $30 region. Where exactly that target is, I will be able to calculate then. But as you can clearly see, it's it looks like a three wave move up. I mean, we had here a uh, support area held. Yeah, the 78.6 FIB level never broke, which is good. We broke out of this descending wedge pattern to the upside. All of that's good. Um, and it could even form potentially an inverse head and shoulders here. Something like that. If it If it now, gives us the fourth wave and the fifth yeah we get a breakout here of the wedge pattern uh, sorry of the uh, inverted and shoulders left shoulder head and the right shoulder we have that pattern on several charts now they still need to prove it they still need to break out it's just something i see that i want to point out when i when i see it um but yeah that would basically be the same as a wave four holding support and then a wave five rally that's my update about Aave. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.